hi welcome back to Rebecca's travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to Rebecca's lifestyle today I'm going to be doing a quick video on the latest travel news worldwide part four so let's jump right into it now if you haven't subscribed to my tra channel then if you press um, the red and white subscribe button also if you click the notification bell and on my lifestyle and travel uh, channel i upload at least three times a week but um, at the moment um, i'm doing it five times a week so um because i've got more time off work so yay i get to speak to you guys more uh, which I absolutely love uh, viewers and subscribers so according to breakingtravelnews.com the six fantastic news facts are the latest travel news worldwide so let's jump right into it with number one um, being France unfortunately has been added to the quarantine list uh, for british travelers visitors returning from across the channel as well as from the netherlands monaco malta turks and chaos and aruba will also be expected to, to isolate for a uh, further two weeks uh, from four o'clock in the morning uh, tomorrow morning so it is sad but those measures have got to be done to keep everybody safe um, so I think it is the right thing to do to keep everybody safe um, number two Qatar Airways is to return to Gatwick Airport, yay! Uh, from the, uh, the 20th of August, flights will operate by Boeing 787, wow! And it will also be op operated by the Boeing company, so that's absolutely fantastic news and so if you wanted to go to Qatar in the Middle East or people from Qatar wanted to come here and back then they can do and um, it's great that Qatar have chosen Gatwick Airport as well to return to so um, I wish um, Qatar Airways and Gatwick Airport the best of luck they are offering 22 seats in business class they're also offering 232 seats in economy so i really hope it goes well now mondo maya region for as new mexico tourism board and number four a small recovery in the passenger numbers at Luton airport so that's um, again anything is better than nothing and or for passenger numbers to go down greatly but at least L at Luton airport has had a small rec recovery in passengers i hope that recovery um extends um to the future so uh, fingers crossed um people will travel to luton airport um in the future and number five Virgin Galantic reveals VSS 
Vinity cabin design. It looks absolutely off awesome. You can see it's on breakingtravelnews.com. It, it is totally brilliant. Um, I've looked at it and I think it's fantastic. Um, and number six, Tourism Island marks International Youth Day with new video on breakingtravelnews.com to celebrate Tourism International Youth Day. So well done uh, to Tourism Island and I really hope the event goes as um, as fantastic as possible and also um, other services and uh, businesses across the world. I hope um, places start to pick up um, in the future. So thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video, which is going to be eight o'clock on Sunday and it's going to be my latest updates that um, I've made to my channel. So I love you all, viewers and subscribers, you all mean the world to me and I'll see you Sunday and uh, bye for now. Thank you. Bye.